Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to call a SOAP API endpoint from Postman. I use this SOAP endpoint that you are seeing on the screen at the moment from W3S School for this demo. Uh, it's a public free API which you can use as well. First of all, I put the URL in the browser and we can see that uh, endpoint and that web service document here. Um, it's a temperature conversion uh, API basically, and it's got two different endpoints, one for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit and another one for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I pick up one of those, Fahrenheit to Celsius, click on that. You can see more details related to this uh, API endpoint here. Um, it's got two different sections, one for SOAP 1.1 version and another one for 1.2 version. Uh, I'll show you what is the difference between these two uh, versions when you wanna call them, but for now uh, we focus on 1.1. The 1.1 has two different uh, subsections as well. The first bit is about the request structure and the second bit is about the response structure. So when we want to call that from Postman, what we need to do, we just put this URL. If I go back and copy the URL, put it in the URL. And as you can see here, it says it needs to be a post request. So we change it to the post. And if you look at the content type, it says that content type needs to be text XML. So we go to header and add a key content type and then copy text XML from here and put it in the value. We go to body and select row and XML from the dropdown. And we just copy and paste the body of the message from here. And you can just replace this Fahrenheit value with your number, so for example, 87. So this is the value that we want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So if you want to give you a little bit of context about what this is in the body, so each SOAP request needs the envelope. So you see the envelope at the top and it's got a body and in the body, you need to have the uh, method name. So the method name here is Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then you need to provide the parameters that that method ex, uh, expects from the input values, basically. And in this case, it's a Fahrenheit value, which is 87 that we added here. Okay, if I just click send, you see that we get the response back from the uh, SOAP endpoint, and this is the converted value to Celsius. This is as simple as this. Uh, okay, let's get to the next part. If you wanna use uh, SOAP version 1.2, you need to refer to the second section. Um, if you look at the request structure, you see a difference with the first one here, uh, which is in the content type. So we need to use application slash SOAP plus XML for the content type. So we need to go back to headers and change this to application slash so plus XML. Go back to the body and I copy and paste this body and I'll show you what is the difference. If you look at this uh, body, you see that the main difference is in the um, name space. So the name space is using SOAP 12 or 1.2 and we've got SOAP 12 here for the envelope and for the body as well. So that's the main difference. Uh, if I put that number again here and delete the previous one and click send, we get the same response, but this one uh, is coming from the SOAP version 1.2. Uh, it depends on your uh, SOAP service endpoints. Some of them support 
only 1.2 so when you are uh, calling those endpoints you need to check the documentation and find the version and the exact uh, specification that you need to use for calling those uh, that was pretty much this uh, thanks for watching this video and please uh, like and subscribe if you liked it thank you very much